think that's going to put us off the start another game coming. America. Your struggle, we take as our struggle. But liberal strategist Elise Mills isn't impressed. She thinks the ad says more about the NDP than anything else and says they should be focused more on the issues, including their own. They haven't redefined who they are. They haven't redefined their message. There's no narrative to that. It's just negative, negative, negative. And it's kind of boring as well. Now those NDP of pessimistic, same old NDP. From the Global Toronto Newsroom, this is Focus Ontario. Leslie Roberts and John Tory. Today, I'm picking up this challenge. I'm going to start in my hometown of Windsor, and I'm going to ask for their support to help make me the leader of the Ontario Liberal Party. And if I'm successful and I can become the Premier of Ontario, I'm going to take this message to the public. I'm going to say, work with me, all sides of the House. We're going to make it work and we are going to make jobs in every part of Ontario. That was the announcement just a week ago, and Sandra Papatella joins us in studio. Good to see you. How are you? Very well. Nice to see you, John. Welcome. Again, uh, across the table. I know, before it was across <laughs> the floor, but today you actually have to answer my questions <laughs> or try. Sword <laughs> in those days, right. you didn't even try. <laughs> Seriously, now. Why do you want to be Premier? I mean, you, you were in the private sector, you'd left politics, uh, you had a good job there, and to come back, you must have a reason that's driving you to want to be the Premier of this province. It is, and it is because this past year has been a tough year for the government. Um, when I left and when I announced and made that decision, uh, no one even spoke about minority at that time. Things were going relatively well. Watching from the outside is actually a really good vantage point to see what government should be doing for people and what I heard on the outside is we need to get back to talking about the economy and when I look at the candidates and who's running and who could have run who's going to bring that discussion back to the economy better than I will and at some point you have to stand up and say I think I can do this and the and the economy needs a leader who is going to in every part of Ontario the north the south rural and urban get around the world and bring jobs back to Ontario. This is like one of those job interview questions where they say, what's your greatest weakness? But in the end, um, you know, when you came back, they had gone into minority status. I mean, what's one thing that you wouldn't have done that they did, whether it's to do with the gas plants or taxes or whatever, that is going to help focus on the economy and get some jobs going yeah, in Ontario? Yeah, and it's a good question. What I know served me very well while I was minister is having had eight years in opposition, which none of my colleague candidates have that long a time in opposition. Some don't have any. But the reason it matters is you get to respect the other side and understand that they actually know what they're doing too. They actually have good ideas. And I intend to ask them for them and see if we can make that work, especially in a minority environment. And maybe that could have been different if we had more with that background in opposition you, because we've been there. We knew we were totally ignored or in my instant, I worked awfully hard, even in opposition, to make things happen for Windsor, where I come from. And uh, that took a lot of doing. I'm sorry, so. Leslie, I had to do this in the House, too. Yeah. But if yeah. you just forgive yeah. me one more, yeah. you didn't answer my question. Yeah. Uh, you, you didn't in the House either sometimes. It was, it was good. You tried your best to sort of sound like you were. Yeah. What is one thing mm. that they have done, the government that you were a part of for a time, but you've been gone for a while, that you would now reverse or do differently in order to, I, to get the economy yeah, going? John, I actually think that I'll do what I used to do in opposition, interestingly enough, and that's reach right across the aisles. I'm going to reach right over that chamber and I'm going to say, you come over here and help me. This is a minority environment and people expect a minority to work. That means you're going to help, help us with these big decisions and incorporate them. Don't let them just run the other way and then complain. Can uh, you name one though? That way you'd say, oh, gee, we got to change this because it's not working uh, for, well, the, for, for the economy. Sure. Well, in particular, how the, how the actual chamber itself is working. Everyone's complaining that the house isn't open and yet they rang the bells 24-7 and didn't let any legislation pass. They've got a small detail that they're not telling everyone about. So in the end, you got to say, look, come to the table. I've been in opposition. I understand where you're coming from. Let you tell me how we can create jobs in Ontario. And I think the public wants to hear that. They want to see a minority government and the leader of that minority government reach over and say, the people have spoken. They're telling us you're very relevant. Come over here and help us on a jobs economy discussion. I actually think I can do that, John. I think like, I've got that experience to do that in every part of Ontario. Having been all over the world, having boosted Ontario and brought jobs back, even during a recession better than any jurisdiction in North America. And that's other people saying that, not me. People so. love to hear about jobs, but let's talk, mm -hmm. never mind trying to reach out to the opposition, but reaching out mm -hmm. to the voters who have had, well, three issues, namely e-health, orange, mm -hmm. 
and of course the, the latest being the cancellation of the gas plants. Your former government, you're mm -hmm. hoping to lead that uh, party once again and become mm -hmm. premier. How are you making sure that won't stick? First, I got to tell people who I am so they know because there's three things I want them to remember about me. I'm going to be about jobs and the economy. That's it. That's what I've been doing for the last many years and continued in the private sector this past year as well, right? The second is I'm pretty frugal. I come from Italian family, immigrant family. I grew up that way where we had a set amount of money that went under the fridge doily and that was the grocery money. I think people need to see once again that we are going to be good at maintaining the public trust on taxpayers' money. That's who I am and that's what I want people to know. And the third is what you see is what you get. Uh, 16 years I was elected every time in my hometown of Windsor. I told the truth. People expect the truth even when it's ugly. That's what they're going to get when you, I'm the premier. There might be people who say, you know, you left in 2011 when mm. things got tough. Uh, that at a point now you're looking to go back because you want the top job and they may hold that against you. You might think that who would go back when it's this tough? So you've got to believe what you're doing and I actually believe that we can turn this thing around. I know that when I go into Hamilton like I did this week and I talked to the people of Hamilton and said this is about jobs, they can feel the fire again and they know I'm going to do it for them like I did when I was minister. I got steel workers jobs when we brought Max Eicher from Germany and we landed it right there in Hamilton. I was proud to do it. I'm going to do it again. People can feel. They can tell when you're honest and upfront and sincere and that you mean it. And I do. I, you know, for me, it was a big risk to come back. If I didn't believe in what I knew I could do and what a government can do for people like jobs when it matters, I wouldn't have done it. Let me ask you this, because you do say there is a risk for you, and I understand I'm that. Sure, you yeah. gave up something you had just started mm -hmm. to do and were doing it mm -hmm. very well by all accounts. Uh, if you lose the leadership, will you mm -hmm. run for a seat in the House uh, regardless, uh, knowing that somebody else is going to be the Premier? Yeah, and what I have to do is respect the party because I'm going to do what the party will let me do. And these kinds of things so actually can, matter. Will. If I can, I will. And if they'll have me, which is the bigger question. Uh, if you don't win the leadership, do they want you? But I will say to you, I will do what the party will let me do when we... You know what? We need a liberal government. We need a centrist liberal government. We're going to draw for the, from the NDP and I'm going to draw from the Conservatives. The people who are uncomfortable thinking that the NDP could actually lead Ontario, I want them to support me. And the people who knew that Hudak is just way too out there on the right, I want them to come to me and they can see that I'm going to be careful with their money. I was like that as a minister and they know this. They know I brought jobs in the toughest of times and they know that what they see is what they get. Uh, that worked for me. Yeah. Four times they, they returned me to the legislature from Windsor. In 30 seconds here, I just want to, you talk, talked yeah. about the NDP and putting out there the fear card. Are we going to see mm -hmm. that from you saying, look out if you vote for the NDP because you're leaving the Liberals, it's going to be bad for Ontario? Are you going to play well, that? What, what I know I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into Hamilton. I'm going to go right into Niagara. I'm going to talk about jobs. And I'm going to let the people right across Ontario put me up against these two and say, which one of these three leaders is going to go and bring jobs to my hometown? If you're in rural Ontario, food processing, you name the sector, I did it and I'm going to do it again. But this time, it's actually going to be better because it's a premier calling for jobs, not just a minister. I have a feeling over the next couple of weeks and months we'll be having conversations like this I hope involving so. you. Thank you that for your time today. That will be great. Thank you. And it's great to Thanks. see you again. You too. Thanks. We'll be